Day is finally here. Way of the Hunter is now released for everyone on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. So we're going to go ahead and go into our storage really quickly. Just wanted to kind of show you this stuff before we actually go out on a hunt. So I've already done the, like the tutorial and stuff like that just to try and get kind of used to how the controls work. So we have our email right here, which is where you go to accept missions, which is really cool. I like that concept of it doesn't really just give you the missions and it may give you some missions here and there, but you can also accept missions. And then you have the shop right here where you have your rifles. So we have a whole bunch of different rifles and they're all like name brand as well. So you have your Steyr, you have your Remingtons, um, that's really cool, I really like that. So then you have your shotguns down here as well. I think there's six rifles in total and then four shotguns I want to say. So you have a nice little selection to choose from in guns and you have your collars and stuff of course, your attachments like your scopes and all that, and then boundaries. So you have private passes that you have to purchase or get through missions to be able to go to certain parts of the map and I honestly really really like that. So we will probably be purchasing these and we might do some missions to get them as well. So. We have our storage of course and it's really simple to just put whatever you want down and then just go. It's not like real complicated like like say Call of the Wild for instance. You just put the weapon that you want and you can remove it just as easy as that. So you also can sleep without having to pay for anything like in Call of the Wild for instance like you have to pay to sleep. So that is something you don't have to do in here and then you have your cars right now. So I do have a car active at the moment. I kind of got it stuck and just kind of left it down there. I didn't know what to do with it. So. There is that, and then yeah, I think that's it in terms of the lodge. I just wanted to go ahead and show that really quickly. So here's the map right here, and as you can see, I haven't explored very far at all. So I don't really know where to go. I don't know, we'll just kind of start heading down this way right here, I guess, and if I can figure out how to place a marker, that would be nice, there we go. So I guess we'll just kind of head that direction. I doubt we make it there today, but just kind of heading that direction, seeing what we can see. So. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We are using it. I didn't think I, I don't think I said, I forgot what gun we're using. I want to go ahead and look at it really quickly. And maybe we can't right here. Let's go ahead and go in here. I think it's the 243 um, Win Mag. So just want to make sure really quickly before we jump in. So yeah, it is the 243 Win Mag, the Remington 783. So that is going to be the gun we're using. It is a tier 5 gun. So don't necessarily know what the tiers and stuff mean just yet. I know it probably has something to do with the animal, but I am very curious to see how that all plays out. So let's go ahead and jump right in and go see if we can't find us some animals. So we have some mule deer up ahead and we have a two star mature buck right there. So from what I've learned with like the star ratings and stuff, you want to shoot like the level or like not the level, but the one star and the two star matures because they are not going to get much older. The mature I think is as high as it goes. There's young, there's adult, and I think there's mature. So you basically they won't get much older than that and they will die eventually. So we want to take out the ones that are like the one star and two stars so that we can eventually get some bigger ones that are four star, five star. And that's like kind of how I understand it. I could be completely wrong, but we're going to go ahead and try and take one of these down. And I actually did shoot at one of these earlier, so there's a mission on here if we can go to it. Which one has a white butt? And it's to claim one mule deer or one white tail deer. And I completely, I shot at one of the mule deer. I don't know if I hit him or not. I think I may have hit him, but I don't think he died. And I may have found him over there, honestly, um, because he ran off and it didn't look like he was hit. But... I don't know, I was still trying to learn how the guns worked and stuff like that, so I probably ended up just missing him or hitting him really, really badly. So if we do find one that has been shot, that is why. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of wait for them. Looks like they're going to come out through the thicket here. Hopefully they do. So I'm going to wait a little bit longer and see what they do. There's our mule deer right there. So that one is a two-star mature. We also have another one right here that is also two-star mature. So there we have them. There's actually a really nice one right there that I want to take down. He's also two-star mature. So, looks like all three of them are, and like I said, I'm pretty sure I shot at one of these and possibly did hit it. So, if we did, we will find it if we do um, actually shoot that one again. So, this one looks really, really good. Um, he looks really decent. So, I think that's going to be the one we take down, the one in the front here. So, let's go ahead and get our gun out, and if I remember how to do it, that's the thing. I'm trying to remember all these um, new controls and stuff, because with the new game, you always get new controls. So, Still trying to figure it out, and I'm pressing all the buttons and stuff. It still hasn't came out yet. Let's go ahead and put the binoculars up. And try and get this gun to come out. I'm pressing all the buttons. That's the flashlight, apparently, I think, yeah. So down on D-pad is flashlight, and I think it's up on D-pad to get our gun, but it's not pulling it out. So that is for, um, okay, so I'm going to struggle here for a second. I'll catch back up with you when I figure it out. And there's our male mule deer right there. So as you can see, he looks really, really decent. He's a decent one. These other two aren't too bad either, but this one is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and put a marker on him. And that's something I really like is that you can mark the animals and then like 
you have the marker so you kind of know where to um, shoot. So let's go ahead and get our gun out and just kind of zero for I guess about, I guess right around 150 will do or 100. I'm not too sure. I'm still trying to learn zeroing. I never use zeroing in Call of the Wild. So it is something new for me. So let's go ahead and zoom in and go for something like that. And we hit him for sure. I don't know if it was a good shot, but we definitely hit him. It's a little far back maybe. But he is stumbling there, so hopefully he does go down. That was my second time ever shooting at these guys, so it's going to take some time getting adjusted, like I said, to the zeroing and stuff. But there he goes, and he is lagging behind the others. He is not going as fast as them. So hopefully that means he goes down, and I don't see him coming out of the brush there. I think that's a good sign. So we're going to go ahead. I'm not going to shoot any others right now. We're just going to go ahead and go check him out. So let's get out of there, and let's go see how we did on this guy. And here we go right here, we have some blood, so let's go ahead and analyze this. So, blood color is pink, medium amount of blood, air bubbles, which means we got a lung, so that was a good shot. Time to expire, slow, and then distance before expiration, 0 to 50 meters. So, there's the blood right there, and I have heard a lot of people talking about how it is difficult to follow the blood trails, so I actually removed my marker, but luckily that was a pretty big blood splatter there. So, we're just going to keep a marker right there in case we do have to backtrack, and let's go ahead and just see where he actually ended up going. I'm going to look around to see if we have any other blood around here. And it probably will be a little difficult. I'm sure we can use Hunter Sense a little bit maybe. I'm not too sure how the Hunter Sense is going to play into that kind of stuff. But I know he just went down right behind that thicket over there. So the Mule Deer is still over here. We could technically still take another one of these guys. Is it worth it right now? I don't know. I don't know how that will affect the herd and stuff like that. Because I know there is like hunting pressure even though it doesn't pop up on the map here. There is hunting pressure, so it'll be interesting to see. So let's go ahead and just kind of creep up around here and see what we can do. We might we might go ahead and take another one, honestly. So he should be somewhere around here, honestly. So let's go ahead and see. That one is another. They're both two stars, so it really doesn't matter, I don't think. So honestly, let's go ahead and take another one. Why not? Just for the fun of it. So let's go ahead and go for something like that right there and. That looked pretty good. Maybe a little bit far back, but that looked pretty good on him. And he's just kind of standing around right there. And he is not going to go far at all. Maybe just past the bushes there. So that's another one down. We have a whole bunch of indicators going off right there. Jeez. So, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about this game just yet, but that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find this guy. And we might actually have to backtrack and actually follow that blood. This might be a little bit difficult. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go and follow that blood, and I may have just looked at him and didn't even notice him there. So, let's go follow our blood and see if we can't find this guy. And here he is, guys. So, he was actually in the water. I just didn't notice him. He was just kind of submerged right there, and I saw his antler sticking out there. So, he looks really, really good. Unfortunately, his other antler is in the ground there, so we can't get a really good photo. But, that is something I wanted to show you guys really quickly. So, photo mode is really, really cool, and I should have actually used it on them. But to just actually kind of get up close and get some pictures and stuff because I think I'm going to have a really good time using this. And I can honestly understand why some people have said that maybe it'll be a little bit overpowered because you can zoom around and actually find some animals. And it looks like it doesn't go as far as it did. I saw some people in early access um, kind of talking about it went really far. But maybe they fixed that because it doesn't look like it goes very far right here. And maybe I just don't know because I didn't watch a whole lot of early access. Tried to stay away from his, from that stuff as much as possible. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and I guess um, just pick up this deer. If he was sticking out more, I would get a trophy shot of him. But that is something I'm really looking forward to is getting some trophy shots because there's a game called the Hunter Classic. I'm sure many people know about it. I've never played it personally, but just getting to see, just getting to do trophy shots is something I've always wanted in Call of the Wild where you can stand behind your trophy and position it however you want it and do that. That's something I've always wanted in Call of the Wild. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. So, okay, we got him. Looks like we got him high. Right there. Okay, this is the one I shot twice. So like I said, I shot it one a set the first time when I was doing the mission, but I messed him up. So this was him. And we just hit really high right there. So that's I was, wasn't sure if I hit him or if I hit high, but there it is. We just got the flesh and barely penetrated it, honestly. And then the second shot there, we did get a lung. We got right lung, liver, and stomach. Just kind of hit everything in there. But a really good shot. And this is a really, really nice mule deer. So probably won't go ahead and tax him, honestly. At least not right now. We'll just kind of keep him right here. So, I want to kind of, uh, well, I want to go ahead and look through this stuff. So, he has a trophy rating of two, adventure difficulty. So that's what I wanted to know, and the hunt rating was a five star. So, 50% genetics. That's at the bottom of the animal info. So, 
50%, I'm pretty sure that means he wasn't like gonna get much bigger. If they're up there like in the 90s and stuff, from what I've learned, that means that they can get very big. But the lower their genetics, the like less likely he's gonna get much bigger. But 50%, he's not half bad, but we went ahead and took him down. So he wasn't going to get much bigger anyway because he is mature. So once a mature buck um, gets, however, how, once he gets older and older, he will die. So got him in the single lung right there. Just a really, really good shot. That is super, super cool to actually see. This game is probably going to be really fun and a sale price of $5.29. So let's go ahead and sell him right there. And okay, let's see. What's it say? You're going to harvest an animal which can be used in progress one of the inactive uh, okay so that's just the objectives which one has a butt so we will confirm that and that will actually complete that mission too so let's go ahead and run up here and see if we can't find our other mule deer that we shot and here he is right here so i went ahead and went into photo mode i'm gonna go ahead and get a screenshot of this guy really quickly even though he's not the largest one it's still really cool just to actually kind of test this out so there is a whole bunch of options here that you can mess with we could honestly turn up the temperature there and that actually looks kind of good give it a bit of a brighter feeling there so yeah let's go ahead and get out of this and check this one out so this one is going to be he was a two star as well and let's go ahead and see we hit the lungs right there left lung and right lungs so that is really good and i really like the current energy the hit energy so basically it shows like where it hit so it hit the lung first and then it went down or it hit the flesh first went down hit a um, bone then hit the lung and then as it went down further and further it hit another lung and then hit another bone so that is really cool that it shows you how all that works so he was also 50 percent genetics probably wasn't going to get much bigger than that because he was mature but he is not a half bad one either so if we can go ahead and zoom out on him a little bit here and actually just get a look yeah he's not half bad so so far just with my experience shooting the guns and hunting i am really pleased with how this game is turning out um it's still i've only had it for what an hour now so it's going to be a little bit before I actually really learn everything and know exactly how I feel about it. But so far, I am really pleased with what I've seen so far. So we're going to go ahead and sell him as well and just keep making some money here, honestly. So let's go ahead and do that. And he should have been sold there. And yeah, he was. So I don't know where else to go. Like I said, we're just going to continue down this way, I guess, and just keep hunting whatever we see. And yeah, let's go ahead and go do that. And we do actually have another group of mule deer over here. This one is another two star mature. So pretty sure this is an entirely different group from the one that we just shot at. So the other group was kind of running off this direction. These are feeding over here. So let's go ahead, I guess, take him down. Why not? I don't want to create too much hunting pressure over here, but we should be fine. And I guess if we do, we'll learn our lesson from it. So I'm still trying to learn all these controls. Let's go back right here. And I did not mean to put that marker right there. So. As you can see, still learning all the controls, and yeah, I'm not even going to try and remove it just yet. Let's see, can we remove it right there? Um, remove, remove, okay, it's not removing. Okay, there we go. So, let's go ahead and take him down. He's about 217 out there, so yeah, 217, so we'll zero for about 200, and that should be good. So, let's go ahead and remove, or not, I don't want to remove that, honestly, but it's fine, I guess. So, let's go ahead and zero for 200, and... This is probably my longest shot I've taken so far, so let's go for something like that, and that looked absolutely perfect, right into a lung, so yeah, it doesn't look like he's going to go far at all, he's stumbling, just like that second one was that we shot earlier, so yeah, let's just go ahead and kind of watch him, and just see if he even makes it into there, there he goes right there, and yeah, he's still going, still going, and still going, I don't see him anymore, so let's go ahead and go see if we can't find this guy. So over here where we shot our mule deer, I want to go ahead and pick up their feed zone right here. So if I can get out of that, there we go. We have an eating zone. They rarely eat here. So that's really cool to see that sometimes the animals are at places and other times they're not. So we're going to go ahead and look at this blood and it looks really good, just like our other blood. So pink, medium amount of bubbles, air bubbles. Yeah, so about the same as earlier. So we know that he kind of went up this direction and I do know that the blood is on the trees and you can see it right there. So that is something I find very, very cool. It's just a small little detail that they didn't necessarily have to add, but they did. And I really find that like true to life because a deer, when you shoot it, it will, it'll, if it's running near some trees and stuff, it'll get blood on it. If the blood is, if there's a lot, not enough, you know, enough blood coming out. So that is just really, really cool to see. So we're going to go ahead and kind of just track up this way. We know we didn't go too far up this way. So let's go ahead and go find him. And here's this guy right here. So it looks like we hit the flesh right there. Then we got lung as it was going down. Hit the lung again and then a bone. So really, really good shot. It hit the lung really quickly, which is good. 
and then he was also a 50% genetic squat or mule deer so it is interesting um, that the two so far all the two stars I've shot have been 50% and they have been mature as well so that's probably why but still really really cool just to kind of get a feel for how all this works and the animal weight was 162.5 kg lost by shot um this is the meat info so we lost 1.16 kg meat so i guess that's not too bad um but we got 532 for it so about average from what we've been getting he ran away for about 100 meters and tracking time 11 minutes 25 seconds so i'm guessing that means probably in game time because i know i haven't been here 11 minutes trying to track him so there's the trophy stuff um it shows you all the main beams and stuff like that on him 318 for the total score so they do have a score so that is something we'll definitely have to check out every time we shoot something so yeah we're gonna go ahead and sell this one as well i'm not gonna save any of these right now or tax any of them let's go ahead and sell him and make some more money so okay keep saying this so if i press change right there and actually activate it can we um go ahead and do that that might actually work out so okay introduction completed so that was the introduction that was the end of the introduction i've learned the basics and now all the shop items multiplayer mode and available territories are accessible so i was kind of waiting for that i knew that was a thing that you had to do some of the missions so that was the final one so that is good to see that we have finished up all that now we can go i think that unlocks transylvania for us so that is good to see so we're going to go ahead and just keep moving on and just keep going down this way i'm going to go to this point of interest right here and we do have one right here i want to say this is a lookout tower or not lookout tower but a um i'm hunting blind let's go ahead and go look at it and then we'll go and just keep moving forward down the road okay guys so this little point of interest is a campsite to where you are able to sleep and stuff like that so you can fast travel to this so i think that is really cool as well um you have your outpost over here and stuff like that but you also have your little campsite along the way which is something i didn't actually know about so that is pretty cool that you're able to come over here if you want to ever change the time and we can inspect the map right here so it, let's just go ahead and read this really quickly so it says hey there we have a bit of a problem with management of mule deer in the area as a fellow hunter i do believe you're familiar with the idea of culling but let me educate you if you're not in deer hunting it's the idea that removing bucks with less than desirable antler um, characteristics for their age will increase antler quality of future bucks by changing the genetics of the population it can also mean removing animals based on their individual characteristics to prevent infectious diseases or disease transmission so I sure hope that removing a few with the lowest possible numbers will do the trick. Good luck and manage the deer population well. Ever agree. So deer associ the deer association. So basically it's kind of what I was saying. Like if you take down the lower bucks that are like mature two stars that aren't going to grow any bigger. Um, that may not have the best genetics. You will um, hopefully spawn bigger bucks. And that is something I've been trying to kind of learn about and stuff like that. So I am interested. I keep hearing like a bear or something that just keeps growling. And I very, I'm very interested in finding that guy, honestly. I've been hearing him ever since I started the tutorial. Just haven't been able to like, I haven't really searched for him either. So harvest five mule deer bucks with fitness less than 40%, either adult or mature. So yeah, um, we, we're probably not going to do that right now just because we've been hunting mule deer so much. If we actually do find some mule deer, we'll shoot them. But for now, I am just going to put that mission to the side and probably do some missions later on so let's go ahead and just keep walking this direction and see if we can't find some more animals okay guys so i can't see him back there but we do have a white-tailed deer right there he's a one star so he's very small but he is also young so he will actually end up getting bigger so we've only seen mature bucks with the mule deer up until this point but we do have a young buck right there so he will end up getting bigger depending on his genetics he may get really big up to four star five star or he might get not much bigger and just be a little little one like two star and then just mature into a two star buck so there's actually another one right there he is a mature one star so that's kind of what i'm talking about he is going to be a mature one star so he isn't going to get much bigger we have another one right there that is a one star as well so just kind of looking around seeing what we have here they're kind of just all throughout the trees there and in the creek area so want to make sure we're not missing out on like a monster five star or something crazy like that so this um, mature is somewhere here in the there he is right there i can't actually see him but one star mature so he's not going to get any bigger than that he's going to end up dying off which is something i'm very interested in as well i want to like actually see an animal die off i don't know if that's possible but i think that'd be super cool to see so he's actually right there giving us a perfect shot so might go ahead and take that since he is mature like i said he's not getting any bigger so might as well take him down so he is at a distance of 134 so we'll probably zero for about um 150 i guess and let's go ahead and just go for that shot right there so 
that looked pretty good in my opinion and yeah he is kind of just trotting around he is not going to go far at all so it'll be interesting to see what tier they are i'm sure they'll probably be a tier five as well like the mule deer but i am curious to see what all the tiers are going to be i think it goes up to tier six so there isn't a whole lot of room i'm sure the tier sixes will be like the moose the bigger animals like that so i'm sure he went down let's go ahead and go find him and here's our whitetail right here. So as you can see, he is quite small, honestly. So he was a mature buck at one star. So I don't imagine his genetics will be that good. And let's go ahead and check him out right here. So got him in the left lung and the liver. So hit a little far back on that lung, but did manage to get the lung, which is good. Then hit the liver and the intestines and all that stuff. So yeah, did get a pretty good shot on him. And then let's see. He's a mature buck, 32.13% genetics. So that is actually quite bad. Um, he wasn't going to get any bigger than that, especially being a mature he was a really small one so that is what they mean by just taking out the smaller genetic ones we want to get these that we know aren't going to be much bigger than what they are already so we lost a little bit of meat right there not too bad and then trophy rating is 236.9 so there we have it he is going to score or he's going to sell for um what was it 474 so let's go ahead and sell this guy and yeah we'll go ahead and move on so we did get the encyclopedia unlocked for the white-tailed deer so i want to go ahead and check that out really quickly i want to check out the encyclopedia for just every animal that we do hunt so they are a tier five so i imagine all of our deer species like them are going to be tier fives maybe tier fours and then just stuff like the um like the pheasants and stuff will be tier one the moose will be like tier six and stuff like that so really is good information so we're just going to kind of keep moving forward i guess um we've already kind of made it down this way so i guess we'll go down to this area and see what's in store okay guys so we do have some yolder up ahead we have a really decent one right there he's a two star but he is a mature so he's got a nice set of antlers on him we also have an adult male right there one star so he doesn't look that decent he will age to a mature but i don't think he's going to get much bigger than that so i think we'll go ahead for now and just take down that um two star because he will he'll he will end up dying off right there so if i get out the binoculars right here we will go ahead and take him down really quickly before he goes into the brush there so let's go ahead and mark that area and let's stand up so 100 meters let's go ahead and zero for 100 and let's go ahead and take the shot on this guy before he flees or something like that so that is going to be a good shot it looked like and there was also i think a one star mature in there as well but i didn't see him as i was over there so or over here so I did see some badgers over here that I would like to take down, but don't see them over there now because we did just shoot. So let's go ahead and go find this mule deer. And here's our buck right here. So this was actually probably the hardest one to find. He landed right here in this bush and came across the river and everything. So let's check him out. So got him in the left lung and the right lung right there. Pretty much hit the left lung really quickly there and then managed to get into a right lung. So really good shot on him i mean we were really close to him a little high but either way it was a good shot so his genetics were 76 percent so he was mature so i mean he had a good genetics he could have got a little bit bigger there but being a mature buck he probably was going to go down anyway eventually he was going to die so we probably could have took one of the smaller ones there and seen what happened to this one but i thought he looked really good so right now i'm not really worrying about that too much unless we just have a bunch of low genetic bucks anyway so yeah i really didn't worry too much about it so lost a little bit of meat again um and it looks like we're losing about the same amount of meat each time so doesn't look to be too bad and then the trophy score is 320.1 so not too bad so we're gonna go ahead and sell this one as well so we have some mule deer up ahead we have a one star adult right there we have another one star adult and then we have a two star mature over there so i'm gonna leave that two star mature for now i just kind of want to see i want to experiment with something so we're gonna go ahead and take down one of these one star adults and see exactly what their genetics are and stuff like that they look quite small i want to say that one is smaller than this one um it's really hard to tell with these binoculars so i'm gonna go ahead and get our gun out we're just gonna kind of take one of these guys down and see for ourselves what their genetics are and stuff like that and like i said we're just gonna leave that um two star for now because we did just take down a two star so i think we'll go ahead and mark this one right here i don't think it would matter too much um let's see about 180 meters something like that so i don't know we'll probably go ahead and zero for like 250 or 150 i should say and just kind of aim a little high on this guy so let's go ahead and zoom in on him and let's go ahead and go for something like that and it looked good he kind of stepped as soon as we um, shot there but it looked really good looked like it hit right there in the middle and that is him i think right there lagging behind maybe not it's that one right there so looks like he's stumbling a lot so maybe he will end up going down i don't know he, like i say he took that step but i did not see him come through right there so i do think he did go down let's go ahead let's go over there and check him out 
looked really small and he's still not the biggest guy ever but let's go ahead and check him out and just see his genetics so we did get the left lung right there and the right lung so right lung was the first one and it, we hit it directly and then got that left lung pretty good as well so Genetics were 59%, so I mean, it wasn't that bad. He had a chance to, he probably wouldn't have been no, no more than like a two-star. He wasn't going to get a whole lot bigger, I don't think. But that was just something I was curious in looking at, was in like an adult male, seeing what the genetics were. And it looks like he is just a one-star, so possibly could have got three stars maybe with this one. But 59%, it is hard to tell. So that was just something I was curious in. So 359 for the sell price, minus 0 0.77 for the meat, so that was a really good shot and 207.9 for the um, total scores. So gonna go ahead and sell this guy as well. So where are we at on the map? I think I'm gonna go down to this point of interest right here, see what this is, and then we'll kind of wrap things up for today's video. We've hunted quite a few mule deer and whitetail as well. I just wanna kind of get a feel today for like how things were going. And over the next several days, you might see a whole bunch, you're gonna see a whole bunch of videos, but you might see up to two videos a day on Way of the Hunter. It really just depends. Um, Gotta find a way to put Call of the Wild in there at some point, just kind of mix everything together and see how it's going to go. I'm going to have to think of like a schedule and stuff like that, but let's go ahead and as you can see, they're going crazy right now. So we don't have a shotgun yet to actually take one of these down and currently we're at 4,000 cash right there. So that's good or credits or whatever it's called in this game. So we're going to go ahead and go to this point of interest, see what it is, and then kind of wrap things up from there. So we are here at this point of interest, and it does look like it's just another campsite, which is good. So that means we can fast travel down here now. And there's also a little question mark right here, so I'm kind of interested to see what that is really quickly. Maybe it's just the map right here. So let's go ahead and inspect it. So, dear passerby, so please ignore this humble request if you don't call yourself a hunter, because I am in need of one. To introduce myself, I am Meredith St. James. Yes, you may have heard from you. Yes, you may have heard of me. I am an heir to the St. James Hotels, and I accepted a bet made by my grandfather to taste 50 different meat types from all over the world without ever getting my hands dirty. I am slowly checking meat types off my list, and I wish to cross off another badger meat. I have heard they are overpopulated in this area, so I feel that this is the right place to do it. North American badgers are not usually hunted for meat, but I am still determined to try it. Please contact my assistant for delivery arrangements. So, there we have the phone number and stuff like that. So. That is to harvest a 10kg badger meat with a trophy rating of 4 stars. So actually, that's a really big one. Or more. than, or more. So that'll be interesting to see. We're not going to do that mission right now, of course. Like I said, we'll probably do some missions later on. Um, just do them later on. But right now, I'm just going to deactivate that. And that badger's maybe just running around over here, which would be pretty helpful if they were. If they were, I'd just shoot one right now. But we'll go ahead and save that for now. And yeah, this is going to kind of wrap things up. So... So far, I'm really enjoying the game. Um, I really like a lot of the features. I think it really is going to be a really, really, really good game. So I can't wait to actually continue playing. I'm going to actually continue to record after this, after I edit this video. I'm going to continue to record and just keep um, doing some videos and stuff for the future. So really hope you enjoy it. And yeah, I think we're at 300 subscribers, by the way, now. So I do want to say thanks to everyone that has subscribed. It's pretty crazy to see that we are at 300. So yeah, 301. So we're really, we're just keep moving forward with the um, subscribers and stuff, which is something I'm really happy about. So just want to say thanks and that I really appreciate every single one of you. So we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right there. So I really do hope you enjoy the video. And if you did and want to see more Way of the Hunter, let me know down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and do all that fun stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.